In today's tutorial, we are going to drawing the orthographic view of L bracket. So the drawing is given here. It's in isometric view. We are going to drawing the front top and side view in AutoCAD. So let's start it. Let's make sure the units are selected in, in inches. And first of all, I am going to go here and tell you I added these uh, layers, custom layers. So I I am going to work in dual for the visible lines. So I am going to hide this grid. You can use the grids. Okay, go to line tool and the first one, the first view we are going to make the front view. So I am going to start a line and now you can see the cursor is moving in up and down like we can draw a slope. But for now we need it off horizontal or vertical line. So I am going to select this option and it will only draw horizontal and vertical line. And here I am going to type 4.5. It's the length of this front view and now zoom it by using your mouse and in this direction uh, we have 0 0.75 and then I'm going to go in this direction and uh, we are going to enter and now again go to line tool and from this point we are going to draw a line and this line is 0 uh, sorry this line is 2.5 Okay, and then move in this horizontal direction and 0 0.75 then we have to move here and make sure you move your mouse the line tool is activated you move your mouse to track this endpoint if you move your cursor near to this one you can see the endpoint is activated and now you can track this point if like that so if your cursor is in front of this line it is it is tracking this point and we draw a line and then finish the line like that and so here uh, like that this is our front on the front we see this one and also here we are going to see a line uh, which is one from this top so i am going to use the offset 0 0.75 and move this uh, sorry offset and this line is one and offset this line like that okay now this is the front view we don't have uh, we don't edit this uh, this circle circular hidden line and the hidden line for this one this line we draw it for this one so from top to this point it's one so from here to here it has one now i am going to go and make sure the construction is selected because now we want to project our view for the top view so project uh, construction is uh, selected and just select the line tool and I'm going to draw a line like that it's 2.5 like that and again a line from this point and make sure you track this point and move like move your cursor like that it's drawing a complete vertical line with respect to the other point like that and this end point is activated if you go here to the snap object you can activate this snap objects okay so now i'm going to go to contours because i want to draw my top view and from this point to this point i'm going to join a line now for this line from the top view it has three so i'm going to select this offset and three and move it like that so zoom in zoom out to adjust the view and then go to line and from this point to this point i am going to make a line again line from this point to this point now again go to offset and 0 0.75 we are going to offset this line like that so we have a line here from the top if we see we will see this line and from this point for this line this visible edge on the top it's two okay go here and type two and draw a line like that then we are going to trim and trim this line like that okay so now we have to make this this thing so it's 0 0.5 offset from this one and for this one it's 1.5 so 0 0.5 this line like that and this line like that and again offset 1.5 like that so we just track these points i am going to trim these points and this one and this one and this one so on the top we will see this 
visible edges and then we are going to draw this circle so for this circle it's 2.67 from this uh, right side and from here it's 1.5 okay offset and then we are going to offset so basically for this one uh, we can 1.5 like that and from here I'm going to draw a line just a random line and this line uh, we are going to offset it 2.67 2.67 and offset this one so for this line this is just a construction line we are going to hide it because we want to find the center of this circle and radius is 0 0.75 Go to circle center point radius and from this point so make sure it's intersection on this point so make sure you go here and this this intersection is activated so when you draw your center point is of this circle is here so it's 0 0.75 and this line this line this line we select it and press delete because we don't needed it so this is this is the complete top view we just draw it and from that top view we can we can transfer this point on here and for this circle on here so i am going to go to construction line and start a line from here like that and make sure it's staying here and again line two and now we have to track the quadrant this the point which is tangent from this point and for that for this quadrant you make sure the snap object for the quadrant is activated so you are going to draw a line like that again line and quadrant and line and for these two lines these three lines we can extend it till the end point of this line so extend till this till this till this okay so we extended it now go to line tool and make sure your hidden is activated because we are drawing a hidden line like that again repeat line so my my lines are passing this visible edge but we are going to trim this one okay trim this 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 now if we go here we can hide this construction line as you can see and activate the center line go to annotate center center point center mark for this circle and center line because this this these two lines are for this circle it's hidden on the front view we are going to make a center line for this these two lines hidden lines because it's circular okay so for the in the right side view we can use a trick here so make sure the construction is activated now and select the construction line because we have to transfer this view on this side this view on this side these two cuts and this circle on the right view view so for that i am going to draw a line and extend this line from here like that and again a line from this point and drag this point and draw a line which is just ending here again a line and track this point and draw a line like that okay so these two points it's telling us on the right side view its length will be from this line to this line so i'm going to go to contours line tool and draw a line like that and now go again to construction and as you can see from the uh, top side like uh, from the top side its dimension here the same dimension we have to transfer here on that so for that i am going to draw again a line like that because we are going to draw a middle line here and again a line like that we are just making a box here and again a line like that so here from this point we are going to draw a line which is 45 degree so from this point i am going to make this one deactivated and make sure the 4590 is activated so when 
this is activated this angle is selected you know when your uh, angle will be 45 you can see a green line so just make a line and now we are just going to trim this line and this line and from this middle line we are going to draw a line like that and it's drag this point and make sure it's straight like that now we can trim this line so basically what we did we just transfer the dimension of this one to here on this middle line and then it's coming on the right side view and uh, now we can work in the contours line and from this point to this point i'm going to join it and move back this point this this side like that so now we just transfer and what we transfer we transfer the uh, right side view uh, the, from the front side we and from the front and top side we transfer our view here on the side view okay now we can see uh, we have to draw a construction line from every point uh, of this top view and this side view so for the side view we are just going to draw a line like that so it's telling us and make sure this is activated to draw the straight line so from this point and then the second point will be here so from every point basically you have to draw a line every point on this view and this view okay so now i'm just going to extend this one to till this right side view and again draw the line from this point here from this point to this point till this point and for this circle from this quadrant like that and from this quadrant like that and also for this point like that so from every point basically from every point on this top view we draw a line which will meet on this middle line and from the middle line we are going to transfer it to the right side view okay so extend tool extend it to the middle line extend it to the middle line extend this one to the middle line and this one to the middle line so now we are going to use the trim and just trim this one now every line from the top view is transferred to the middle line and again we are going to draw a straight line from the middle line so we can transfer the view so make sure uh, your point is coincident with this the middle line and the line coming from the top view so from every point every point of the line on the middle line we draw a line because basically we are transferring the view okay so, so if you see this thing from this side from the right side what you will see you will see these two tabs and this one okay and you will see this edge so for this edge i am now i am going to go to contours and make sure you extend all of these line like that okay we go to line and from this point you see like that and then just trim this extended version okay no uh, first we see we we are going to transfer these two points so from here we draw a line which is going to cause this one so for this one and again for this one like that from this point so these two tabs which we will see from the right side view and i'm going to trim this one and you can see this this tab is still this one so we don't need these two lines okay and next if we transfer the circle circle will be hidden from the right side view so this line is for circle like that draw a line again a line from the second point of the circle and now we're just going to trim this line this line this line this line like that so this thing we will see on the front side and what else we see we will see this cut so how we transfer this cut from this line is for the cut this one so from this point till this point because this line is coming from the front view till this one and this line 
it's coming from the side view this line so from this point to this point and this line will be not hidden it will be contours because this line is visible and now just trim this portion so this is our right side view if we see it is from the right side we will see like that now you can hide the construction line and here we just make our previews and now you can go to dimensions and put the dimension like that from this point to this point it's five from this point to this point it's two and from this point to this point is 2.7 and from this point till this point it's 1.5 like that okay this is the line we just did and we can make any and we can draw the dimension which is left so from this point to this point it's one and from this point to this point it's two so the drawing is done thank you so much this is our l bracket thank you so much for watching my tutorial please subscribe and share my video